This is the legend, Egon Kuhn. Ah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Good to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. He played with Fortuna in the 79. Hello, Phil. Ollie. I'm Ollie. Good to meet you. Lars, he's spoken a lot. Come on, come on through. Hello, you all right? right. Yeah. Um, if I get you just to kind of turn your phone Yes, we've done all that. We've done all that. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got the traditional Kevin Beatty. Phil, I'm not well text. I'm trying to get him to come. Fantastic. On our next trip to Fortnite. Next trip, yeah, we're. But he won't get his bloody passport for it. Oh, yes, he has a party. On BBC One. BBC Radio Suffolk. With John Wright. So last week on the show we had the company of Ipswich Town's North American Supporters Club. This afternoon we're going to turn to our German friends at Fortuna Düsseldorf. 120 supporters have made the trip from the Rhine to Portman Road. And I'm joined uh, in the studio by uh, a fair cluster of them. Uh, good afternoon uh, everyone. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, uh, joining us is uh, Dave Loud and Proud. Hello sir. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah. We've got uh, Phil Ham here from uh, TWTD. Uh, Uli. Uh, hello, sir. Good afternoon. And could you introduce for me uh, this very special guest that you've brought uh, here sitting on your right? Well, we have brought our legendary player, which is uh, Egon Koenen. He used to play for Fortuna Düsseldorf between between 65 and uh, 81. And I think at the end of the day, he was leaving for uh, playing with uh, Bayer Erlingen for a year. And I think he did altogether about uh, 350 and something appearances, including cup matches and uh, uh, league matches and he was one of them players um, playing at the European Cup Winners Cup of final versus uh, Barcelona which we have lost in uh, 79 by uh, three goals to four after extra time. You so were robbed. I was going to say that's, that's pretty <laughs> courteous of you to, <laughs> to, to, <laughs> to, to bring your own legend with you. Um, there will be a, a Legends and Legend uh, event after the match I think organised by the, uh, the the supporters club but I mean, why why the link with, with Ipswich first of all? Oh, this is kind of a long story. Like um, this is our say tenth trip since two thousand and six uh, to Ipswich. But uh, we started uh, actually we started two years earlier, and it used to be a kind of an annual trip to England, just for us as Fortuna of Düsseldorf friends. And um, so at the end of the day, like we landed up in Ipswich. Beforehand, we were in Brentford, and lovely people there, lovely fellows. But uh, we couldn't arrange further um, dates and figures or whatever. So we were thinking about um, what would be the club to uh, kind of mix with us. And um, obviously it was like Ipswich Town because they have a kind of a similar history as we have. Even though like our last German championship was in 1933, which is ages ago now. Jesus, you're laughing. And um, but it, it fitted. And, uh, we tried first of all uh, to get in contact and we got to know Dave then and we got to know Eddie and uh, they gave us a warm welcome and uh, they said we, we would really appreciate if you come and visit us at uh, Portman Road. So we did the first trip then in 2006 that was against Portsmouth, the, cup, right, yeah. the, the, the cup, cup match versus Portsmouth. And uh, say the most touching in between now what happened there, the most touching match, I still have to mention that, is um, that was against Leeds United during the days when you had uh, the, the, the fellow here who was. Um, That's right, in 2006 we had the, the Ipswich murders, um, which uh, had a, a shadow across everything that happened in Suffolk. So, yeah, that must have been quite a, a moving time because those events uh, were focused around uh, the. Portman Road area and, and places. So, but since then um, you've come back and you're you're building up uh, memories and, and relationships. And I mean, uh, Dave, what are they? Are they well-behaved guests? <laughs> <laughs> they're unbelievable when they're sober. Very entertaining <laughs> when they've had a few too many. But uh, no, it's, it's been it's been an absolute pleasure to, uh, to be associated 
um, not only with the supporters that are absolutely fantastic, but uh, the actual club themselves. Every time that I've taken a crew um, or a party over to Fortuna, which uh, from our point of view has been about six or seven times now, um, we've always been made to feel welcome. The organisation of the whole experience from, uh, you know, from the minute that we leave Ipswich to the arrival of the stadium um, has been uh, tantamount to uh, near enough excellence and uh, we've been greeted with open arms at both ends and um, the, the supporters um, who make and don't make this trip um, are gradually um, starting to understand what we're all about, what our aim, what our aim is, um, which is basically to get the two sides together to have uh, an official pre-season uh, pre game. That's the ultimate um, ambition of both clubs, um, or both sets of supporters, oh. for the clubs to uh, to uh, get together and say, "What? Well, let's sort out a pre-season fixture for this because uh, it's going to be thoroughly entertaining." Because you're sort of, I mean, I, I, you say you didn't win a title since 1930. Oh, we did. We won the German FA Cup twice. Oh yes, I was going to say one, one those two. Right. So, but that, that was in the in the sort of 70s, and uh, this right, is, yeah. so there are parallels with Ipswich <laughs> and Fortuna that we're both most recent kind of. Yeah, but it's kind of kind of to be honest with you, um, like. I mean, Ipswich was always playing Division One or Division Two, like when it used to be called, say, instead of Premier League yeah. nowadays. It, like we felt into Division or say into fourth level, and uh, we came back. Oh. We made all the way back from uh, the fourth level, which is called in Germany the Oberliga. And it could be here in England, uh, some below the Conference League. Yeah, in standard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we come back anyway. We come back to Bundesliga, and uh, that what happened last year. And as we are, we got relegated immediately again. Uh -huh. So anyway, we still think that uh, we we have some relationship with Ipswich when it comes to that little bit of success. But I think the more of relationship we have is when it comes to like genuine supporters and uh, like people who are real loyal, sticking to their club, and always staying with them oh. and we got that, that feeling straight away like when we came the first time here and uh, this is uh, how we ended up today still coming again and again and again and today is the 10th visit but it's probably definitely not the last visit good 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 what do, you, I'm sorry, what do you notice the big difference you don't come in on this as well when you go to I've never been to German football and there's a lot of talk about German football and how the atmosphere is so much better. What do you notice earlier when you, when you come here? There's the big differences between supporting football in Germany and supporting <coughs> football in England. Well, that, that is a good question. Um, I mean, I've seen my first match in England in uh, say '73. That was uh, at the old Manor Ground uh, between Oxford United <laughs> and uh, West Bromwich Albion, years and ages ago. But um, I mean, the, the atmosphere, meanwhile. I mean, you can talk about the Taylor Report, and when they were like changing stadia into like all seaters, and um, when they were raising up ticket prices, like for example, if you go to a German football match, you pay about um, say, w and you stand. You, we're not talking about seating now, uh -huh. and you stand. You pay about thirteen euros, and that includes the transport by bus and coach or whatever, home and back. If, um, that was the point that I just wanted to make. Yeah, yeah. This for me was um, um, will always stand out um, very predominantly. For my first visit uh, to Fortuna was that um, you only got um, got got us organised with some tickets, and uh, where we actually parked up. I mean, Dusseldorf is a huge city, and we were approximately eight, maybe fifteen kilometres away from the stadium. And my first question was, hold on, you live? How are we getting to the stadium? And uh, he said, well, it's your football ticket. Your ticket is your transportation to get to and from the stadium, uh -huh. wherever you are by public transport in uh, in Dusseldorf. And I thought, what a fantastic idea yeah. that is. You know, U UK clubs have got a lot to learn from German football, just on that respect alone. It takes all the traffic out of the city. More importantly, you've got everything in common. You've got a football ticket. You've got a means of travel, public transport. And um, it's, it's just so well organised in terms of um, uh, uh, the whole experience of it doesn't matter where you park up in the city, you'll get to the stadium as long as you've got your ticket um, by any means of uh, public transport, be it a tram or a bus. Um, or um, one of the trains that run frequently into the city. Mm. So plenty of things to uh, to learn from our uh, partners across in, uh, in Dusseldorf. We'll have a, a chat uh, in a moment to uh, Egon Kern, 
who's uh, their own legend who they've uh, bought with us, uh, played uh, between uh, 65 and 81, making 376 appearances. And uh, yeah, we'll chat more with uh, Uli and uh, Dave as well, and then we'll let you uh, crack on. I believe there's a party down uh, at the, uh, the the Drum and Monkey, but we'll uh, <laughs> <laughs> catch up with uh, the latest from the uh, the news desk. Um, here's uh, Kelly Paul. BBC Radio Suffolk. A little uh, royal treat for you here on BBC Radio Suffolk. The Kings of Leon Royal Music uh, ahead of Towns Clash with QPR this afternoon. Kick off at three o'clock. Full match commentary here on BBC Radio Suffolk. Uh, Graham Mack and Brenna Willie in the chair from two o'clock. It is live to pitch. It's John sitting in for uh, Mark Murphy just for uh, one final week. Uh, I'm joined uh, by uh, Phil Ham uh, from the TWTD website. So we are we are sans beat today, Phil. Yes, yes, he's on the on the, on the um, treatment table. He says and sent a, a, a message that he wouldn't be here. So hopefully we be, he'll be better and back next week. But uh, filling in very nicely because it's always nice to have a legend in the studio. We uh, our friends from uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf have bought their uh, own legend with them, travelling over here. Uh, it's the tenth annual trip. 120 supporters making the trip from the Rhine to Portman Road for this afternoon's game. We've got uh, Dave, who's uh, helped bring them over, uh, and Uli and uh, Egon. Uh, Conan, who played for the club between 1965 and 1981. You're all uh, very, very welcome. Um, language is a, a, a slight limiter here, so we will, we will see how this goes, but it's nice to, uh, to have you and you're welcome here to, to BBC Radio Suffolk. Um, your, your, your thoughts on, um, well, well uh, first of all, how's, how's the trip been and how are they treating you? As, are they treating you with enough respect? Wie war die Reise und respect Ja, sehr. <lacht> die Reise war anstrengend, aber die Leute sind nett, sie sind herzlich empfangen worden. Um, he is very tired. He is a bit tired because it's it's not uh, so easy such a trip without sleep. Uh, but he is well respect respected uh, by the fans, also uh, by the Ipswich fans. Fantastic. That's good to hear. So the highlight of your career must be must have been. A long career with uh, Dusseldorf with Fortuna must have been the European Cup Winners' Cup final in 1979. Yeah, sportlich sicherlich. Und die beiden in die wir gewonnen haben. Yeah, he said on the, on the sportive way it, it was definitely the highlight in '79. Plus, or uh, in addition uh, to uh, both uh, two cup winning matches in '78 uh, and. Uh, 78 and 80. No. There was uh, the, the first one we won against Cologne, and the second one we won against uh, Hertha BSC Berlin. Uh, first, Berlin. Yeah, the other way around. Yeah, because of course, famously, Ipswich played Barcelona in the Cup Winners' yeah. Cup the year that you reached the final. Is Franz Krankel? Who yeah. Yeah. Neskins. 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 Yes, the Dutch. Yeah. yeah. Miguel. Yeah. Miguel. He was a Exa. very hard, hard defender. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because you were a you were a defender in your day, weren't you? That was your position. Uh, defender number six. Number six. <laughs> ah, sounds sounds just like someone <laughs> familiar to us, doesn't it? Someone missing no, for the play, yeah. Kevin, you don't know what you're doing. Defender missing. and uh, later on defensive midfielder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, from that time, Fortuna holds a record in German football. They won 18 cup uh, games in a row. Oh, that's quite impressive, it's not achieved it? by Bayern Munich or Borussia Dortmund. It's a st still standing record of, of our club. Yeah, it's very impressive indeed. Fantastic. So you're going to be appearing um, after today's uh, game in the Legends Bar with uh, a host of other uh, the Ipswich Town Legends, a, a Q&A session um, that's put on by the, uh, the Supporters <coughs> Trust and uh, club. So, uh, Supporters Club. Sorry. <laughs> and if you uh, have uh, any questions, then. Um, that is the time yeah, to, uh, to, to, to put them and I imagine that would be a nice, a nice atmosphere post game, hopefully after a win. Yeah, it's straight after the game in le in Legends, um, Brian Hamilton, Fabian Vilnis, John Walk and it'll be question and answers, signings, photographs, that kind of thing. So, and uh, and the Fortuna legend will I'm sure be welcomed along with the town legend. Fantastic, well we'll let you get back to the, uh, the drum and monkey so you can have uh, uh, <laughs> continue your, um, your celebrations ahead of the game. Thank you very much for popping in and uh, I hope the, uh, the result pleases you. Thank I you very much. I will hear you. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think you can safely say you're all good. Lovely, okay. Okay. excellent, good okay. work okay. guys. Okay. BBC Radio Suffolk.